What is going on fellow Pokemon card collecting enthusiasts? This is Jay Scotty Sun back with another Pokemon video and in today's video I got three different things I want to touch base on slash show off First of which these cards are up for auction right now. They end tonight uh, I added them to my Sunday night auction block. So if you're watching this on Sunday uh, Yeah, go ahead and check this out this is for you because some of these are like at a dollar or so right now they are pretty much all error cards these ones got the miscut grade you can see definitely how uh off center they are on the back there and on the front then we have this radicate that didn't really get the uh the error but man look at that it definitely looks like an error to me i don't think somebody would do that with eradicate you can see that is definitely different printing than that uh, then we got a Vanillish that didn't get the error grade, but it does have square cut corners. But it is a Vanillish, so I understand why that one might go for a dollar at auction. Same with this Corvusquire, two square cut corners. And the same thing as nobody really cares. Then this one actually does have the square cut corner error distinction given by CGC. So yeah, that one might do okay at auction tonight. Then there's this Inteleon that's doing decently right now because it does have the error distinction. And then this Pidgeot, which I think should go for the most. There's a, uh, yeah, there we go. Got that fingerprint off. But yeah, this one actually is a misalignment uh, print layer. Uh, CGC reached out to me and said, hey, this one didn't get the proper error, so please send it back. And I said, you know what? I'll send it to auction <laughs> instead of sending it back to you guys. Uh, but this is my buddy these all of these cards belong to my buddy raul so these are a consignment block for him next i picked up this sticker album from series two uh, i got this sent to me from romania the snicker, stickers are already put into place so yeah i got a lot of stickers that still need to be put into place but there's like 50 percent of these that are filled out if you go through it some of the more rare ones are uh, in here, which is cool, like this Charmander. That one's not an easy one to pull. Actually, none of these are easy to pull. You can't even get Series 2 packs, really. Uh, look at that. You can uh, do that, whatever. If you can read Dutch. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Deutschland. It does say Deutschland. Uh, I knew it was Dutch. I got some cool Prism cards here. Nitto King up in the top right. We'll get to the Charizard page here. Pretty cool Charizard. I want to get this one graded, but you know, I need to have it not stuck on a page and then the Venusaur would be really cool to get graded as well. So yeah, I picked this up. It was $80. It's pretty hard to find any series two packs. Next up is some CGC. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera up for this. There you go. You don't see that angle too often. There we go, I'll bring it back. Yeah, CGC 9.0 white pages. You can get off-white pages or white pages. Uh, so these four comic books are for a buddy of mine. And uh, yeah, he got some pretty decent grades, I would say, for these comic books, these Pokemon comic books. And man, I really do like the sturdiness of these large slabs. This was the worst grade of the bunch. The uh, Surf's Up Pikachu. He's not even surfing, but he's got that P on his beanie. This one got the 9.6, which is the best grade of the bunch. And it I think it has a really cool artwork on the front. Really cool hand-drawn artwork right there. The electric boogaloo. That kid's stoked. Or confused, he kind of looks confused. Uh, and then this one's awesome as well. I think that uh, these can be worth a decent chunk if they were to put up on, be put up onto uh, eBay or for sale somewhere. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope your Sunday is going very well, your weekend's going very well. And as always, have a great day and peace out.